Hi, welcome to Matt Holman Golf. I thought I'd take a look at Frederick Jackson today. He's been working with Sean Hogan on his golf swing about the last eight years, and Sean's one of the main David Ledbetter instructors there in Orlando. And I've been out and, and taken a, a number of lessons with Sean over the last four or five years. One of the things I really like about his coaching, actually, all the guys he teaches swing a little different. I think sometimes David Ledbetter can sort of be known for teaching one method and that's certainly not the case that I've seen. I, I, I've found their methods in person very adaptable and uh, I think you know Frederick's game is a sort of strong example of that. I think you know certainly his tendencies he's known as one of the best putters on the PJ Tour. Uh, you, you certainly can't be a, a, a poor ball striker and, and make a living there but it's definitely his own swing I remember watching him play very early in his career at, at the Belfry. My first coach, Peter Mitchell, was a very good player. And I used to, to go to a number of tournaments with him every year. He played with him one time. You know, it looked very similar. He's always had this sort of tilting movement. I think definitely when he plays his bad golf, you know, speaking to Sean, he gets sort of long, high with the arms. That right elbow gets sort of a little bit sort of flying high and away from his body and he gets this long across the line look which we see there and very much this sort of tilted look you know head moves down forward so I think all the time I can remember his swing he's always had that tendency but I think when his long game consistency drops you know he, he goes back more to his tendency so Sean would always talk about sort of practicing three ways one is to our constants or that's maintaining our tendencies the second part is our shot making and, and third part is sort of our play mode so I think definitely Frederick's sort of uh, constants here is to watch that that right arm doesn't get high and away he doesn't get long and tilting too much um, and then we're going to look at a few different swings I think you'll see that so he's always pretty decent down and through Arms fall very much through the centre of his body. Knees are passive. And so really, when he now gets down into impact and, and through, it's really a, as good as it can get. Again, from halfway, recovers great. And it looks as orthodox as, as any swing. I think at times he just gets too long across, tilted open. And it's just hard to consistently recover from there. So I've got a couple of swings here. I think this footage on the left-hand side is from sort of six, eight years ago. So he's got one of those balls between his arms. So I just wanted to give you an example of the, the sort of things he works on, especially players that struggle with this, get, you know, long arm swings across the line, sort of flying elbows. So I think definitely as many things you can buy, place something between your arms. So you can see... You know, he's got a little bit of tilt there, but look how much closer his arms together. All of a sudden, the, the club shaft is very much on line, on plane. So this is always the feelings he's trying to achieve. See, that's not very natural there. The ball is trying to drop out. It does drop out. It's a very simple movement there. So they're always trying to get a balance between what he's comfortable with, which is a little long, tilted and, and across, with a bit more connected. So I think this footage was from a couple of months ago. He's got one of these, I think, David Ledbetter sent these boomerang. It's about, you know, a glove would do the same job and the same theme. Um, I think, you know, when he won, he really felt like his ball striking was good. There's, I think, US Open a year, a couple of years ago. Again, you look at footage from there, the club's much more on plane. So you're going to see he, he tilts a little bit here. Definitely that look of across the line, but it's not as across the line, um, you know, as open as long. And we can see he's trying to keep that right side a little bit more connected. Very good look down and through. So I think definitely for players that struggle with sort of long across open sort of chicken wings, certainly a ball between your arms would be a great drill. Uh, a glove under your right arm just to connect that right side up a little bit more even a glove under the left arm just to shorten the swing down as well